I did something a little different. I did a back to school tutorial uh, for you guys uh, in collaboration with uh, Miss Beauty Couture 101. Um, I did a back to school if you're in high school and also if it's your first day of college or if it's just you're returning back to college, a first day look. This is a little bit glam um, and it's a little bit out there, but instead of doing the, you know, the, the typical, you know, back to school tutorials that I always see on YouTube, um, I thought I would go a little bit different, go out of my comfort zone and just go full on glam with glitter and you know so on and so forth. And I want to thank Miss Beauty Clip. Couture 101 for encouraging me to do this tutorial. I was really skeptical because this is my first time doing one and I just want to say thank you to her because you know without her kind of you know giving me a little push then I would have never done it and I really really enjoy it. Um, so I hope to do more with you guys soon and stay tuned to watch the tutorial. Bye! So the first thing I'm going to do is hi, uh, moisturize my face. I love this moisturizer, it works really really good to help control the oil. Then I'm going to be using a chapstick, then I'm going to be using the Black Radiance Shine Control Face Primer. It's okay, I mean it's I guess drugstore but it's not really that good at all. I just used it for this. Then I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Original Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This stuff works really good for oily um, skin, well oily eyelids. Okay, and then I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro Contour Palette for my eyelids um, to pretty much just set my eyelids because this avoids any kind of skipping in your eyeshadow. If you have that problem, then I suggest you try this and see if it works because it works for me. Okay, and then I'm going to be using the Jackie and Naya and Elf Collaboration Palette, the Clay Eyeshadow Palette, the Limited Edition one. I'm going to be using that shade as a transition shade. I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro 2 um, palette. I'm going to be using the Cool Gray shadow as another transition. I'm going to be using um, different cool tone grays as a, as a transition to go into black because that's what I'm going to be going for. Then I'm using charcoal out of that palette. Then I'll be using the black. Then I'm going to go back in and just blend that all out with this transition shade, the first one. Then I'm going to be using the wet, this Wet n Wild color icon, like glitter, um, this like glitter glue eyeshadow. And I got it at the Dollar Tree and I actually really, really like it. I was skeptical at first, but it works really good. Then I'm just putting it, I'm just packing it on and putting it on my inner V. As you can see, I really like it. Then I'm going to go in with that um, shade from the Jackie and I palette. I'm going to be putting it underneath my brow bone. I'm going to go back in and kind of blend it out. Then I'm using the ColourPop Gel uh, Liner and Swerve to tight line the, my upper lash line, my upper water line. Then I'm going to use the Ardell Lashes in 110 I got from Beautycon. Then I'm going to curl my lashes. As you can see, I don't use mascara first when I put false eyelashes. And voila! Okay, then I'm going to be using the Lancome TN24 Hour Makeup Foundation. This is ideal for oily skin. Um, I did not use the drugstore. I am sorry, but to tell you the truth, for oily skin, there are really no drugstore foundations that really work and help control um, 
oil for oily skin even if you use a face primer um, for me it just ends up with a dewy finish even though it's marketed as being matte so I find that high-end foundations really really work for me if you can invest in a really good high-end foundation that is matte and trust me it will be worth it and you'll know the difference between the high-end matte foundations as opposed to the drugstore foundations I had to learn the hard way and sometimes you had to pay more. Make sure to always um, get close to your hairline just so it doesn't leave any harsh lines. Same for underneath like the chin area. Then I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me our better skin concealer um, this shade is a little this this shade is like the same skin tone I need to get a lighter one because uh, right now I am kind of light which is shocking see how it's kind of golden and yellow like my undertone so next time I need to get a lighter one but it will work as you can see I'm using the Deathly Hollows Harry Potter symbol <laughs> I love this setting spray. A lot of people talk shit saying that it stings their eyes or their face or something. Well, you don't put it in your eyes, okay? Just, I don't know. It doesn't do that for me. So, yeah. I like to use it um, to make my beauty blender damp. And then I blend it out. Um, I learned this trick from a Sephora, uh, Sephora makeup artist. And it works really well for me. Then I'm going to be using the Airspun Loose Face Powder. Um, I love this stuff for baking. Um, this is the key for you, for those of you that have really oily skin. I suggest you go out and get this. Um, I'm tapping it on the bottom because it's really hard to actually get out the product itself. The sifter is doesn't really let it come out that much. So, yeah. It does smell like um, an old lady or old lady perfume. So, if you can get past the scent... It doesn't linger anything, so. It looks crazy right now, but we will be wiping that all the way pretty soon. Okay, and then I'm going to be using the Bronze Booster from Physician's Formula. I really, really like this bronzer right now because I'm pretty fair, so it actually shows up on my face. But when I am kind of tan or dark... It doesn't really show up so I'm taking advantage of that now whenever you're bronzing uh, do like an M on your face on the sides and that's how you know you're bronzing and it's different than contouring contouring is just like kind of like giving a precision you know to really sculpt out those cheekbones so I didn't want to contour I just wanted to bronze since this is a back-to-school um, look so it's a little bit easier, even though I did do full glam on this look. Then we're going to be walking the bakage away, away, away from the eye. And again, this is the key. If you have oily skin, this will, like, definitely, you will not be shiny in those T-zone areas where I put the bakage. Then I'm using it on my lower lash line. I only do it halfway because this trick makes your eyes look bigger. If you do it all the way, it makes your eyes look smaller. Then I'm going to go in tight line with that black shadow from the Lorac Pro 2 palettes. Then I'm going to be going in again with that same cool gray shade just to kind of turn transition or just to blend it with the smokiness that I already have. Then I'm going to be going in with the color rose I believe. Um, 
yeah, a rose or something like that. I'm going to be using that on the inner corner. Then I'm going to be taking the Milani Baked Blush, and I'm just going to ever so lightly put it on the apples of my cheeks. That brush is like great for applying blush and for you not to overdo it. I try to use that um, highlight shade in Jackie and I's palette, but it was a total dead and it did not work. I don't understand why, but it just was not working. Um, I don't know what the hell the deal was, but she does on Snapchat and it looks, you know, it shows up on hers, but. I don't know what she's doing to like make it show up, but it did not show up on mine, so I don't know. I'm just going to use the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter and Moonlight Pearls. And as you can see, my highlight will be on Blake. And again, I'll be doing a review on the Jackie and I um, collaboration with e.l.f. on her eyeshadow palette. I think I'm going to be doing a review on that soon in a tutorial uh, to give you my thoughts. Okay, then I'm going to be using the Slay All Day Gerard Cosmetics Setting Spray again all over the face just like how Jeffree Star would do it look at that highlight though okay and then I'm using the wet n wild lipstick and just peachy and then the Rimmel London liner and I don't know that word but um, I'm using the liner because it's a warm tone brown and I don't really like pink lipsticks so this is definitely gonna make it less pink kind of like an ombre effect um, if you want you can always just skip the liner and go straight in with the pink or you can use a nude lipstick or you can use a bright red whatever one it will look fine with this uh, um, eye color or this look as you can see my lips are really crooked so yeah bear with me okay that's how I was born and I can't afford lip fillers so I make do <laughs> And that's going to be it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And again, this is going to be in collaboration with Miss Beauty Couture 101. She did the same back-to-school look, but with a different eye look and stuff.